Yo, surprise, we got new MGK and I'm always here for new MGK. Roll it. Now, for those of you that might be new here, let me go ahead and give you a quick synopsis of my entire relationship with MGK's music. At first, his first couple albums, didn't even listen to him. Like, not that I wasn't a fan, I just I just didn't listen to that type of rap, or I didn't, I didn't listen to him as that type of artist that he was as a rapper. I didn't actually start listening to him until Killshot and, and, and Rap Devil, and if you want my opinion on that, as, I mean, I, the video that I made at that point was pretty biased because I was like, who's this MGK dude and why is he coming after Eminem like this? This is obviously some type of like marketing ploy. I still think, even though now I'm less biased and I'm actually a fan of MGK, I still think he lost that, but, that's when I first got introduced into MGK as an artist because Rap Devil was a dope ass song. Like it was a good song. And then I listened to Hotel Diablo and I'm like, damn, this whole album is fire, bro. So I, I like became a fan after that. If, if it was a marketing ploy, it worked because now he he garnered a new fan from like a diehard, a diehard Eminem fan. So it was dope. It was dope to see like my relationship and my mental state of what came after that to change. I, I, I thought it was dope at least. And then if you don't know, I did the entire tickets to my downfall album song by song. Like there's an entire, like I, I did every single song. I had, I didn't do any of the bonus tracks cause I had other stuff to get to, but the, but I did the entire main album and I fucked with the album heavy. I still listen to it. It's still in rotation today. So I'm excited about this new track right here. And I'm assuming it's going to be punk just because it keeps on that same pink theme. And I saw that Travis Barker was on the drum. So I'm assuming it's going to say that same, but I'm excited to get to it. I have no idea. First off, I have no idea who Kellen Quinn is so take that as you will but anyway follow your boy instagram twitter discord most importantly hit up the twitch if you're someone who likes to watch live streams we stream on twitch four days a week so that's the second link in the description but anyway we got machine gun kelly love race featuring kellen quinn let's get it i found a silver ring and put it on my finger played it for the reaper that's dope. I picked up my guitar and played it for the Reaper, the Reaper of Death. That's this a dope ass visual in line. But I paused it because I'm like, I'm still, I'm still surprised at how surprised I am that his voice is so good for this genre of music. Like it, it's perfect. If it it's perfect for this, perfect. I played it for the Reaper. I visit game and they were kissing in the bleachers. If love was a game, they were kissing in the bleachers. Go like still going on that like downfall high, like that whole like high school teenage angst thing. Talking about God and the devil. If love was a game, like that twisted game that they play together. It's so clean, bro. It's so good. And I stopped it again, like because like I just talked about his voice, but like just the rasp that he has in his voice whenever he like does the screaming singing thing. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, we're kissing in the bleachers, screaming by myself. All right, dope. I get this. I get this. I get the. I get the album or the the track title, "Love Race." I'm on the run to get back to you, and he's talking about you know the 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 love hate relationship with the devil and God, and and I'm on the run like a race. That's tight. And and people are gonna say about MGK, especially especially people that are that are fans of punk rock music, and he's kind of like. The way that people say that Eminem is a guest in hip hop because he's white, they're gonna say the same thing about MGK because he's a rapper. What is he doing making punk music? So there, there's always gonna be people that are gonna say that this is the most generic form of punk rock that you can find. I don't give a fuck about that. If I fuck with it, I fuck with it, you know? It's a good ass track, it's, it's a feel good track. I feel good and I feel the teenage angst and I'm about it. I'm not that hardcore analytical about the music that I listen to. I'm analytical on the lyrics and how they make me feel, but I'm not a fucking critic. I'm not Anthony Fantano. I'm not just going to be here to fucking not like any music at all. And that's not a dig at Fantano, by the way. I know that that's his, that's his shtick. That's like what he does. He cuts down music and, and he's kind of like memes his reviews. Even though his, even though his reviews are serious, they still seem kind of meme -y. You know what I'm saying? Alright, 100% thought Kellen Quinn was gonna be a dude. I don't know why Kellen sounded like, maybe because Kelly? Please don't look behind us, the past is trying to catch up. Ooh. Dog, the lyrics are so good. Pressure from all sides. I got claustrophobia, because that's what it feels like to be claustrophobic. Like, you're being pressured, like you're being pushed in. You feel like the space is never big enough. 
It's fire line, but she said, don't look behind because our past is trying to catch up with us. Like, let's just run away in this like shotgun style romance. Let, let's run away together, but don't look behind because all of the reality of the past and, and how terrible we are for each other is catching up. That's such a fire line, dog. Bars. Bars and punk rock. I'm here. Straight ahead, but I I'm on the I don't want to be without you, but I'm here screaming by myself. I am already without you. It's, it's dope. It just causes that. It causes that like downward spiral. I don't want to be without you, but I'm already without you. And I'm screaming because I don't want to be without you, but I'm screaming because I'm already without you. And downward you go into into hell. You know, I will say I thought we were further on in the track because we're already two verses through two verses. And this is about to be the second hook. And we're only halfway through. God was a girl. The devil wore a t-shirt. I'm on the road. Bro, is, is that Travis Barker on the drums? Because his drum fills are always perfect, son. But their voices to like juxtapositioned against each other are so nice, especially that part when it's kind of like a breakdown where she had like a very, she had a very clean voice, like clean and angelic and, and higher. It's lower for the female end, but higher than his. And he had like a very raspy, darker voice. So it's like they fit perfectly on top of each other. But I like that. I'm on the run. Like I like that little like pitch up and pitch down in the, in the hook. I'm on the run. I'm so dope. Yeah, all right. All right. So, son, first off, fire track, all right? So I will say that. Second off, I'm glad that it ended at three minutes because this type of song, I feel like a song that's pushing over three minutes is gonna be kinda long for this. It's already a repetitive nature track because the, the verses are so short. The verses are almost the same length as the hook and we had the hook like four or five times. So I'm glad that it ended at three minutes. It probably could have actually been like 2.45 and it would have been fine too. But the track is solid. For me, like I said, I'm not analytical as fuck about the music that I listen to. Like I'm not, I'm not out here, all I care about is how does it make me feel and it makes me feel good even the lyrics even though like like i keep on saying teenage angst but even the lyrics are like feel good like let's run away together fuck all of our problems like like it's let's live in the moment right now and let's run away from everything that's what this that's what the track feels like to me and i fuck with that and then like this could have literally been on the album it would have fit perfectly uh machine gun kelly just he hasn't missed for me since hotel diablo because Hotel Diablo was a really dark rap album. And then we had this punk rock album. I want to see if he can transition back into rap and see exactly like what, what the vibe is, what we got going on there. But yo, I'm a fan of Machine Gun Kelly. That's it. I don't know what to tell you. If you're hating, you're just hating at this point. If you don't like punk rock music, that's fine. I mean, you, you don't you don't like you don't have to like his music, but you can't deny the force and the talent that the dude has to be able to just switch genres in the way that he did. It's to the point now where I don't even like bringing up Eminem when I talk about MGK. I just I know that there's people that are going to be new here that haven't seen the video and that they don't know my background with him. That's the only reason I bring Eminem up. So that way you can have like the timeline of what of what the situation was and my mental state in terms of how I became a fan of MGK. But to me at this point, MGK and Eminem, apples to oranges, bitch that phrase don't make no sense. Why can't Fruit become his career is its own living like organic thing like separate from Eminem and no I don't think Eminem destroyed him and no I don't think Eminem ah oh, fucking you know kill shot he had to go to a whole nother genre Sh shut the fuck up Sh -sh -sh shut the fuck up that's not what happened if anything rap devil fucking launch this dude even further to get to people like me. But yo, that brings us to the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video, leaving a comment down below. If you like what you see enough, please consider subscribing, long form breakdowns, analytical thoughts, feedback, like emotional feedback. Like that's how we get down around here. So if that's your vibe, hit the subscribe button. If you're someone who wants to support the channel in a bigger way, monetarily, because I do all of these videos, I'm full time on YouTube specifically because of Patreon, because these videos get demonetized like 99% of the time. So if you want to support the channel and say you have a hand in the potential of what we could do here then consider joining the patreon or do it on the twitch twitch is solid as well if you would rather support stream then you know by all means do that as well. if you want to do both do both by whatever you want to do i'm about it 
Follow your boy on all the socials. All the links are in the description below. But that's really all that I got for you today, ladies and gentlemen. And like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. And I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.